Hey, welcome to our daily edition of Friend of God. We're taking this directly from our new book called Friend of God, Letting Jesus Say Who You Really Are, because we really believe that when you learn how Jesus defines you, it changes how you define you. You are not the sum of your mistakes and victories. You are who Jesus says you are. You are the one he loves. Thus, you are a friend of God. And in this incredible journey through the writings of John, we see John telling us over and over again, this is what it looks like to be loved by Jesus. And so through 40 days, we're going to take a look at what Jesus is showing to John and thus John is showing to us, that John comes to the conclusion that I am the one that Jesus loves, and thus we can come to that same conclusion. So... Every day, we're going to take one of these chapters and give you just a very quick thing to think about and pray about for that day. And so here is today's episode. Day 23. I told a story in the book about children's ministry and a guy coming to the door and pointing at his kids saying, well, not you, not you, not you. I, I choose you and pointing at one particular child. I'll never forget that, the joy in that kid's eyes, the laughter, the, oh, here we go again, the fun nature of it all, but yet just how important that is for us as followers of Jesus. And this is where some Christian circles begin to take issue with this, and some say, well, some are chosen, some are not. And some others would say, no, all are chosen, but just few accept the choice. I would lean towards that latter one and say that because of what Jesus did on the cross, all of us have been invited. That is God's way of saying, I choose you. And so if you happen to look at your life and think that I don't know if I'm picked, if I'm chosen, I would say just by Jesus dying for you and saying that all who come after me can follow me and take up their cross and deny themselves and enter into what I give to you. And guess what? That's for every single one of us. And the invitation for us this day is to remember that Jesus has called us to be the kids of God, to call God our Father. And so take time to consider God as your Heavenly Father today. And maybe you don't pray that way. Maybe you just pray God. But what if today you prayed your prayers starting with Father? That may bring about a negative connotation for you. That might be difficult, but imagine the perfection of your earthly father. Maybe you even want to specify and say, Heavenly Father. And then I want you to pray this. Father, thank you for choosing and calling me. Lead me, Lord. You see, this is what he's called us to do, to embrace this, to follow him, but then not to leave it there. There's other kids at the party that didn't know that they were called as well. The father's outside with a big van and everybody's welcome to go follow him to ice cream. But you got to let everybody else know they're all invited. So make this your purpose to pursue. Make it your goal to let others know they are chosen too. Well, I hope that was helpful for you today. Take that with you throughout the remainder of your day. We'll be back tomorrow with another daily edition. Make sure you check us out on YouTube and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll be back tomorrow with another daily edition of Friend of God.